right, hello and welcome. My name is April Ray, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Um, so today I kind of want to just follow up with uh, what I was talking about in uh, reference to branding and how network marketers need to brand and I stand by that I know some people don't want to have to go through all that but I'm but if you're trying to have any kind of longevity in this industry if you want if network marketing is really just a jumping point to something that you really want to do, uh, a passion that you really want to uh, have come true or that you want to actually do in your life and you're using network marketing as a platform or as a way to get there, then you definitely want to start branding. So we should brand. Everybody knows we should brand. Okay. So a question that I got was, well, if you know, considering we're not going to be branding our MLM and we're not going to be talking a whole lot about our MLM on, on social media, um, how do we get people to join our business? How do we get people to buy our products? And so that's what we're going to talk about in the next episode. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So what do you talk about online? Basically, there's like a 60-40 rule, maybe 70-30 rule, 60 to 70 percent of your posts, say, on Facebook. They're going to be um, inspirational posts. They're going to be helpful tips. If your brand, if you're a health and wellness business, if you're in a health and wellness MLM, maybe you join that company because you are a health and wellness kind of person. You're into exercise. You're into eating healthy. So you want to talk about that kind of stuff on your um, social media, on your uh, Facebook business page, not necessarily your profile page. So that's going to lead me to the next step is that you actually, if you're going to be on Facebook, which is my main place where I like to be, I like to hang out on Facebook, you want to have a Facebook business page. And of course, you want it branded to you. So you're going to be talking about your, your um, tips that you're going to be sharing. You're offering value. Also, you want to have a website. We talked about branding. One of the, the main things that you need to have when you're branding yourself is having your own branded website. Not your company a replicated website, but a, a website that presents you, right? That presents who you are, who you want to be online, your brand identity, right? So you're going to be sharing your blog posts. That's See, online it's all about content. Content is king. What are you sharing? What are you talking about? What are, what are you giving that's benefiting other people? Okay, and then the next 30% uh, or 40%, or you're going to talk about maybe you're going to create an offer uh, for people to join you on a webinar that's going to introduce your business. Or you're going to talk about maybe how you can, uh, somebody can to buy one of your products. And you're going to do that in a very, especially on Facebook, you're going to do that in very creative ways. And I talk with people, uh, my clients, on how to do that. You know, you just kind of mention it here and there. It's not something that you're pushing. You're not pushing people. Buy this. See how great my business is. You're creating offers. Also, we talked about, you know, having your own Facebook page. Um, I'm sorry, having your own website. You want to be able to uh, build a list, right? So you're going to create some sort of free offer for people who can get on your list. That's the major thing. List building is major. You want to build a list. Why? Because you want to take people from your cold market and make them your warm market. Because MLM will always tell you, you know, you want to talk to your friends and family. Because that's your warm market. That's people you know. Well, guess what? Some of us are going to run out of really helpful friends very, very fast. Your friends and family pool is going to dry up really fast, believe me. And if you're not good with going out and meeting new people, then you want to try and do that, duplicate that meeting new people online and get them on your list. Give them a free offer. Maybe it's a free uh, recipe on how to eat healthy. And if they sign up for your list, they can get that free copy of your, of your recipes. So there's all kinds of ways to build your list, but that's a major theme. You want to build your list. Why? Because that's where you really start to talk about your business opportunity or your products that are helpful products that you, you're going to be uh, marketing. That's where you start to actually make the sale. It's going to be on your list. All right. So that's it. I just wanted to give you a quick uh, update on what we were talking about when it comes to branding. 
Also, I, I did a blog post on brand identity. I talked about building your, creating your brand identity. And you know who does it very, very well? I would say Beyonce. Beyonce does branding very, very well. And she doesn't really brand herself. She actually brands her alter ego, Sasha Fierce. If you've ever heard of Sasha Fierce, understand that Beyonce is a big introvert. introvert. She is not that person that you see on stage. That's her alter ego. And that's kind of what we do in branding. You create an, a brand identity. You can call it your alter ego so that you can talk and be whoever it is that you want to be. If there's a part of you that's more bodacious and loud, but you, know, you don't really show that part very often, create that in your brand. Be that person in your brand. There's ways to do that and that's something that I teach my clients how to do all the time. So check out my blog post about Beyonce and how you can create your own brand identity online. All right, thanks again you guys for joining me and if you're on my YouTube channel don't forget to subscribe um, and also click the link for my blog post. All right, talk to you later. Bye bye for now.